back in the garage today. I had to run to the paint store and pick up some guide coat and 600 grit sandpaper as you saw. So we're going to use that today, uh, throw a coat of guide coat on the bumpers and use that 600 grit to try to knock it down and fix any spots that we might find. Uh, last time I was not able to get the sunroof out, didn't have time, so hopefully today in today's video we'll pull that sunroof out and start sanding on that as well. I've already started sanding on it, but what I noticed here was there are some cracks in the paint and if I don't get those out, they'll show up in the final paint job. So I need to sand it down uh, with 220 to the bare plastic and then we'll prime it in. All right, now that I've got this all sanded down with 320 and I've wiped it down with wax and grease remover, I'm gonna put some adhesion promoter on here before I prime it. So now that I got the cover pulled off, I'm gonna move on to 600 grit on the entire car and anything that I find that needs to be repaired at that point, I can take care of before I move to the next step. After blocking this driver's side fender, I do have some low spots, or at least one low spot, because you can see right here, I've actually sanded down to the metal, and you can see the body filler there, but over here, you still have some guide coat visible. And what that means is whenever the block is flat against here, it's hitting here first, and it's not hitting there. So what I'm gonna have to do is scuff this up and put a little bit of layer of uh, glazing putty in here, and then redo this. So my original idea was to dry sand with 600, but what I'm finding is the sandpaper clogs up pretty easily and it, it really makes it a lot longer process to sand dry. So I'm going to move over to wet sanding. It's a lot messier and it's harder to clean up, but I think it's going to help my sandpaper last longer and help me get through this car faster.
since I've now gotten to the point of needing to sand this rear quarter panel, uh, I wanted to mask off this glass so I don't scratch up the trim. Um, I attempted to use the trim masking tape, which has a hard plastic piece that pulls the trim back. You can see the blue here is actually the trim masking tape. It worked fairly well in the back, but it wasn't quite the right size. You can see how it's sticking out a little bit right there. It does work, but I found that the yellow masking tape is actually doing a pretty decent job of pulling the trim back. So that, that'll be fine for sanding this and painting it later on. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Um, I still have some sanding to do on the back quarter panel. I've gotten most of it. There's a couple little spots I still need to hit right here in the corner to make sure it's uh, blocked down. And then we're just gonna go from there. side saying it was 600 so I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over here on these bumpers and knock those out Well, we finally got the front and rear bumper sanded with 600 grit. I was really hoping to make a little bit more progress in this video, but this sanding really takes a long time. Uh, really getting all these little spots 
making sure it's completely sanded out. All the old scratches, the 320 grit scratches are sanded out. because You don't want those 320 grit scratches to show up in the final paint. So I'm really just trying to take my time and uh, hit it as best I can. So the front and rear bumper are done. Uh, they are sanded down with 600. They're really smooth. Uh, they look really good. Uh, half of the car, I, well, I would say less than half of the car has been sanded with 600. I got the front fender all the way back to the rear quarter. I have not touched the roof yet. I know I said in the last two videos I'm going to pull that sunroof out. Uh, maybe the next one I'll get it. I don't, I don't know. Um, it, it's, not gonna, it's not too hard to take off. It's only like four bolts, but I've just been putting it off because once I take it off, I'm really going to have to cover that up and keep all the dust from getting inside of the car. So I'm just putting it off until I'm ready to actually sand it and prep it for paint. I'll probably keep working my way around. I did get this mask off and sand it all on the top of here. I stopped to about right here. Um, the next video, I'm going to work my way to the passenger side and work down that way. So hopefully it'll go a little quicker. Um, I may do a lot of time lapse in the next one just to try to skip past it because this sanding stuff is pretty boring. Uh, whenever we get to actually painting, that's going to be really nice to see uh, the finished product come to life after it's all done. So stick around for the next one and hopefully we'll keep making progress.